Hi everyone and welcome back to the page. This is Dave, also known as Loving Them Trains. Welcome to the second episode of Running Them Light. In the first episode, I explained why this series was created. You can go back to episode one for that explanation. For those of you who do not know, when a locomotive or group of locomotives run without rolling stock, it's referred to as running light, hence the name of this series. Today I in fact do have a caboose to run with this unit, so it won't exactly be a light run. Anyways, as you can see I've started to unbox this locomotive. This unit has not even been taken out of the shipper. I'm just going to use my trusty old scissors to do the job. As you can see by now, this box is from Third Rail, a division of Sunset Models. Come on already, let's get this engine out of the box. Alrighty, finally, here's the model. It's a Chesapeake and Ohio GP9, and this is the front. Now here's a full view of the side. The pre-order for these was in 2020, and I received mine in late March of 2021. So yeah, I've had this unit for almost two years without taking it out of the box. I know, craziness. Just like Lionel and MTH, you have to pre-order these units from Third Rail. Because this company is smaller than some of the other manufacturers, there are not going to be a lot of extras available. And finally, here's the rear of the unit. I like the Third Rail units mostly because of the fine details out of the box. Also because I like to three rail scale my equipment, I like that the pilots are fixed and removing the Third Rail coupler is easily done. There's no need to break the unit or cut wires. Anyways, let's go ahead and fire her up.
Well, I lucked out again. It runs. I'm really kidding with this because Third Rail produces a good product, so no real surprises here. Well, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time for part three of Running Them Light.